Well, greetings, good people, and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Now, are we sure this is the William Ruto we used to see for a nation which we were really trying to figure out? Mimi nataka niwaeleze ya kwamba these people don't understand the damage they are doing to the people and the economy of Kenya. Na mimi nataka niwaulize watu wa hapa manga. Tafadhali, mukiona tumesimama hapa mbele yenu, tunawaambia ya kwamba tutengeneze hiyo serikali inakuja ambayo inaelewa lugha ya mwananchi wa kawaida. Watu wa manga muko tayari? You know, first of all, I think um, what they always say, there is this adage or proverb or saying uh, that goes the fish will always start to rot from the head and so in this analysis i want us to use that adage to try to explain the kind of system that we're seeing right now because this system is rotten to the core and if you look at the chronology of the rotting you will definitely say that it started rotting from the head First of all, if you look at the head, you will be talking of who did William Ruto bring on board to help him govern the country? You know, first of all, he did not consider professionalism. That is a red flag. That is something which is disastrous in the long run. And even right now, if you were to talk of maybe, let's say, he goes like a man who now wants to apologize publicly and realize that, you know, there is a mistake that I did and I need just to pick up my pieces. Even if he goes for these professionals, I think they will be very fearful of getting into his government. So the first thing, when the fish was starting to rot, it was because of lack of clarity of who to bring on board. That you can also say it is kind of ignorance. You don't know who can run what. You are only going with the political mindset. Now the second thing, you know, Ruto did not have proper prioritization of what he needed to do with his government. That is the reason why, you know, everything was a mix up. And because everything mixed up and there is no way he can get out of that cocoon of mixed uh, spices and everything, that everything is jangled up, the only remedy that comes when things have failed is to go back and start scapegoating. Niseme ya kwamba hii mambo ya uchumi msikuwe na wasiwasi. Ni vile tulikuta Kenya iko hali mahututi. Tulikuta Kenya mgonjwa wetu anaitwa economy. Tulikuta amelazwa hospitali, ICU akiwa hali mahututi. Na uwezi toka ICU siku hiyo na wende nyumbani. Lazima upitie HDU, utoke HDU uende kwa ward ukae ward alafu uende nyumbani ukunywe madawa ukiwa nyumbani sasa hii tumesukuma kutoka ICU tukapeleka HDU tumetoa HDU sasa iko ward na si mbaya mgonjwa ameanza kutembea ameanza kunona ameanza kuongea inaenda mzuri na hivi karibuni ataenda nyumbani so it tells you definitely well that if they cannot get away from the pit and they know very well that they should not continue digging the pit they resort to scapegoating. They resort to blame games. Okay? Everything that is happening, you cannot miss scapegoating <laughs> in the vocabulary that they are trying to contextualize their statements. For instance, you know, now, if you take those two, those two areas, you will sum them up and know very well that Everybody that William Ruto brought on board, not at par with the vision that he has. You know, sometimes we would take Ruto as a person and a person who has two sides. So the first side is the better side and then the second side is the, the worst side of him. The advantage and the disadvantages. So when you take the advantages, you might bring in an aspect of perhaps he is a visionary leader. In, 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 in his intrinsic self, he kind of minds the future. And that is the reason why every move that he's taking, he thinks that he is looking into the future. But this future, is there anybody who is buying into this future? Especially when you talk of the ones he brought on board to help him govern. 
they are not by in fact they do not know the vision that William Ruto is trying to achieve if you don't align the vision with whoever you brought on board to help you it will be jumbled up it is it is a, a messed system altogether so we will sum these two areas and say that these leaders that William Ruto brought on board do not even buy into their vision because they are politicians they are not professionals and they do not do not know how to prioritize on what is needed for any vision that William Ruto has or perhaps we can say to the extreme that William Ruto doesn't even have a vision he said that he can't even explain to these leaders that this is what I want us to to achieve he is just jumbling up everything he is just messing up and this is the time that you can actually agree with what is being said you know for you to be a successful president there must be a distinction between your performance and political play that you dispense you cannot be a successful politician at the same time you become a president with heavy legacy such that you range them on an iso basis never it is on an indirectional proportionality one is going up the other one is going down you cannot have them going concurrently so it is true with what we are seeing perhaps william ruto is trying to see a future but is not well aligned in the leadership that he has in place like for instance you can talk of the likes of rigadi gashagwa when they talk do they really align do they even know the vision that william ruto wants they do not know and, and, and so that, that is the mess that we have actually found ourselves into i think if william ruto is not very keen um he's going to find it very difficult to get re-elected and that said the election of 2027 is going to be hotly contested hotly contested in the sense that people are going to be so angry with the government of the day and people are no are, are going to despise William Ruto to the extent that if he forces himself if he forces himself to be re-elected we might even end up having chaos we might end up seeing what we did not expect in the first place if he's not careful I think even from his background you know he's going to he's going to miss the mark of him being a man who actually championed for the Kalenjins and created a base he is going to be the shortest serving kingpin who we thought would be the longest serving one in the political realm when you bring in where he is defined so i think there is there is an aspect of agreement with what this adage says that the fish always starts to rot from the head and when you look at everybody it is the head that has messed William Ruto. It is the head that has messed the institution. It is the head that has actually messed everything.